Good morning, teacher. Good morning, professor. Good morning, teacher, and good morning, everyone. Yeah. All right. Good morning, so, teacher, and good morning, uh, everybody. Good morning. Um, please don't don't call me professor, okay? I'm I'm still young and I haven't made any books and I haven't got any um, master P for um, our younger generation. So please don't call me professor, okay? Just call me teacher or sir. Enough. Do you know what I mean? Someone call me professor. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, teacher. Okay. So the title of professor is very, very prestige, you know, for those who just share a lot of benefit to the society and they could make uh, many books, do more research, and also everyone recognize his masterpiece so he can become um, a professor. But to me, as a normal teacher, Okay, so don't call me professor. I'm so shy to hear the word professor when you call me that. Okay, so just call me sir or oh, teacher. That's enough for my title. <laughs> okay, everyone. So normally before we start class, I would love for you guys to um, communicate with each other for a while to practice your space skill before we start the real class. So now I would love you to unmute and then just talk to each other for a few minutes before we start the real class. Please call names of someone you know and other, and then you practice speaking all together. Okay, please unmute and talk to each other, whatever you wanna talk about, free, okay? Unmute and talk. Mm. Good, good morning, teacher and uh, classmate. Respect to uh, one red ball. Uh, Hello, everyone. Yes, hello, yes, brother. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, hello. Uh, yep. Welcome uh, to uh, classmate uh, Sokle and uh, another one, uh, Yam and uh, May, May Sompo. <coughs> uh, and uh, Len, Bung. Len Bung. Today is a new student or uh, another live and report on Thun. Uh, he uh, very busy with uh, uh, serving uh, people uh, 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 with the uh, blood, blood victim uh, in Srivok, Sentai uh, Province or Ratnagiri. Ratnagiri. Yeah, Ratnagiri, but uh, Srivok, uh, Srivok uh, River along. Uh, stand along uh, from uh, Stung Trang to Ratnakiri. Ratnakiri to Stung Trang, Srebok okay. uh, Srebok River, uh, Ratnakiri, and through to the uh, Stung Trang Province, Sai San. Sai San is there at uh, uh, Stung Trang Province. Yep. Mm, I see. Um, shall, shall we ask a newcomer? So, Sampo, can you join the class and say something? We would love to hear your English. Oh, yeah, teacher. Good morning, uh, uh, Good morning, teacher, and good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, I am a new student. Yeah, introduce yourself introduce yourself to the class yeah yes uh today i'm liu in the swaitrum village swiring this uh swaitrum village uh swiring province yes yeah what What's do you do for living what 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 do you do for living how many brother sister do you have and where do you study now what grade are you uh okay teacher uh i have uh two i i have uh, one brother um today i the working in the uh, sorry in the swipe room 
Rachel. Yes. Do you marry? Um, oh yes, uh, teacher. I I am uh, married. With the children or with a child or two children, three children. Um, I have oh, a, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I have a, a one 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 children. One child. One one child. Um, son or daughter. Oh, uh, and the doctor. Uh, daughter. Okay, not a daughter. doctor. Yes. Doctor. Doesn't have her, doctor, but doctor. Daughter. Don't yeah, become sure. <laughs> doctor and daughter. Okay, so when you pronounce daughter, we refer to our family member. But when you pronounce doctor, yeah. we refer to the one who have her. So don't be confused with that pronunciation. Yeah, she is your daughter, okay? Not doctor. Yeah. Yes, it's a, Okay, it's a, it's great. A, yeah. You have one daughter like me. I have one too. Yeah. And what about Boom? Hello, Boom. You? Uh, yes, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, introduce yourself. Bong. I introduce myself already, teacher, because I am an old student. We, we cannot hear you properly. Bong, can you speak louder? Oh. Hello, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Yeah, we can now. Okay, come on. Okay, uh, I I introduced myself already. Ah, oh, you you you. I are... am old. I am an old <laughs> student. Maybe you miss some classes, right? So we almost forget. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, my name is Limbong. I have uh, five. I have a uh, band member, and nowadays I'm studying in Gretzville at Hunsan San Megara High School. And mm -hmm. in the future, I want to be a hacker and English teacher. Hacker so my goal is a string teacher. hacker, yes. Wow. I'll have on internet. Don't, don't hack my account, okay? There's a lot of things there. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, in the future, I, I want to be a good, a good hacker. <laughs> <laughs> so hack only so the bad guy. our company. <laughs> yeah, hack only the bad guy, not good guy. Okay, so anyway, thank you everyone for today. And now we start learning all together. Now let's go to our main point. So last time we learned something regarding present perfect. I hope you still remember the use of present perfect. So Mr. Janath, can you explain one more time about the present perfect? Uh, for example, if we uh, use uh, the action that uh, start from uh, the uh, the past and until to the present now, teacher. The one past point to another. Pre, present, right? Present. Yeah. Past to present. Yeah. Yeah. For the um. For the present, perfect. I say PP. For the present perfect, you said that it used to talk about things that happened in past and up unto pre present. Okay, it is also correct, but in our book, we just learned something that regarding to what recently have okay. happened. Okay, so when something has just happened, we use the present perfect form. For example, like I have just um, told you about my uh, profile okay so this is something that regarding to what something had just happened so we use the form of pa participle have or or has okay so the form is that subject what is the subject what is the subject in in this one I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Okay, I, you, we, they, he, she, she, it. Okay, correct. So um, this is the form of um, the present perfect form. 
we just use with subject are you with the he it flow with have or has flow with pa participle and plus with com complement so that is the form of the present perfect and normally we use with some with the he it yes that so is something regarding to the point of that just like just happened and what else we use with one just already really? and and what another one is yeah. yet you remember this so we put just to refer to something already happened and just happened and already means something that have done okay have done and yet mean not yet finished and normally we put yet at the end of the sentence and you can put already or just between main verb and have okay between have and or has been Man verb. That is the form that we use with the present per perfect. So I just read you about that. Anyone is not clear about this one? Let me know. A newcomer. Do you understand this form? Present perfect. Do you remember do you understand this one? <coughs> yeah, is it okay? Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, and what about the part? I got it. It's okay, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, what about Po uh, Yam? Yeah, teacher. No problem? And a little bit, not uh, all. Okay, a little bit. Let, let me clarify again, okay? So let me clarify again. We use the present perfect to talk about things that have recently happened. Okay, has recently happened, we can say. So it just finished about one minute ago or three or four or five minutes ago or a day ago like that, just new one, we use present perfect. For example, like I have just, or I have already told you about my, my profile. So we use this one to talk about um, to talk about things that had just happened. And normally we use with the word just to show that short one finish. Okay, and we use already, it means done. And we use with yet to show about not yet complete. Not yet complete. For example, um, she, she, uh -huh. She has then done her home work yet. Yeah. So this one to show about something that not yet finished, but you wish to do it after that. Okay, to show about this one. Clear now? Yeah, 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 problem. Okay, great. So if you are clear now, I will not go in detail. So we can go back to our book and to learn about there pronunciation do you still remember how to pronounce this symbol do you know phonetic alphabet what does it mean in khmer language i mean khmer letter this letter in khmer letter equal to j j refers to what j no not j this one is j Okay, letter D, letter Z here, we pronounce J, equal to letter J. But this one, not, not J, this one, equal to letter J. Letter? I don't know the one. Letter. Okay. This one, letter J. In this one, refer to yo. Okay, J here equal to letter yo, so we can pronounce yacht, yet, year, you, 
You got it? So this one refer to je, this one refer to je, okay? Pronounce je, like ja, jumper, read, change. So this one refer to letter, letter je. That's signs of phonetic alphabet. Um, these are very important for you if you wish to learn new word by yourself without um, explanation from your teacher or without pronunciation from your teacher. You can learn by yourself when you meet or you come across a new word. Just go to dictionary, check that word, and you will see these kinds of phonetic alphabet. So I will not go in detail because we just learn a little bit by a little bit. So let's continue to another one here. Communication. Okay, let's continue to practice speaking here. So has he done it yet? So if you have book, you go to page 101. If you have book, go to page 101. And then look at this one. Look, a picture over here. Um, try to remember the picture. Try to remember the picture, number 4A. Has he done it yet? Has he done it yet? So look at the picture uh, for one minute and try to remember what's it in. Try to remember what's in here. Okay, look at the picture one minute. You see a man walking a dog. You see computer still on. What time is it? Half past egg. And the picture hanging a wing drop down. And the clothes everywhere. Yeah, okay, look at this one, one minute. Look at it carefully and remember what I seen in the picture. All right, one minute pass away now. Let's continue to practice. Look, what are you going to do? Look at this one. Now work individually. Okay, work indeed. What does it mean individually? What does it mean to work individually? Okay, it's gonna get yana individually mean by yourself, okay, one by one by yourself. Work individually and look at the list of things Max always does every morning. Okay, these are the things Max always does every morning. And he has already done them. Try to remember what was in the picture and then write sentences. For example, he's already made the bed or he hasn't made the bed yet, okay? So if you use with already, put the already between main verb, okay, before main verb. And if you want to use with negative, you put yet at the end of the sentence. Now, look at this one. Number one, you think has already made the bed or hasn't made the bed yet. What about this one? Wash up his coffee cups. He has already washed up his coffee cups or he hasn't washed up his coffee <coughs> cups. Okay, now I would love you to spend two minutes writing down those sentences on your notebook or on a piece of paper. And then we will share the answer all together. How many sentences can you get them right or wrong? Okay. So please spend time writing down by yourself. Two minutes later, we're going to check the answer all together. How good your memory is.
Yeah, so because... what are the things that you think that Max has already done? He has taken the dog for a walk. Okay, so has already taken the dog for a walk. Okay, correct. Has already taken the dog. And one more. Yeah. One more. He has already had the sofa. Okay, has already had yeah. her. Uh, we pronounce shower. Okay, we pronounce shower. 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 Has already had yeah. a shower. And one more. Shower. Has already had, had breakfast. Okay, good. Had breakfast. Okay, so has already had breakfast. What about negative? Negative. So, number one, negative. He, he hasn't washed up his coffee cup. Okay, good. So he hasn't washed up his coffee um, cup and then blah, 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 blah with um, yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, both. Was a part we we change to part participle, so we we add ed right? Yes, the regular world, regular world we add ed. Yep. Okay. Td um, td change y time i ed. Yeah, y change yep. to i plus ed. Okay, guys. So because the time almost finished now, so we can talk later and we will check the answer one more time. Okay. See you again, everyone.